What up you guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to react to a pretty old video, a really old video. Uh, it's probably like 10 years old. And uh, it's an interview with Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate. And it's a really old video and it's um, basically the times where he was fighting, he was a kickboxing champion. And um, yeah, he basically gives an inspirational, you know, you could almost say a speech, but it's not really a speech. He, he, he gives an inspirational and motivational talk, you could say, in one of his interviews. And I've seen a really short part of this, but now I think they're gonna show a, the whole, you know, part where he, you know, talks his talk. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna react to this and I'm gonna jump right in and see what he really talks about in this inspirational speech, you could say. So let's jump right in, let's go, bro. Why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it, to try and make it make any sense, is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think, who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored. And boredom's crippling. If you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders, you can't just sit there bored, you know? So most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom and they learn, 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 but that's never really interested me either. Although I've always been an intelligent guy and I've always done well academically, it, was, it never really interested me. And then I see people climb Mount Everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space, people think, what's he doing? He's crazy. I understand. Because some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL um, and mentally tired enough. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, I'm bored. Everyone's at work, I'm bored. And I'll end up doing something crazy. I'll either end up drunk or, or on the Eurostar, or you know, it's just it's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never-ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. With fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard, and the stress can be the stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun and my mind is occupied, it occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it, it occupies me and I could never stop doing this even if I lost 100 fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it, I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home and work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed my entire life, I don't know what relaxing is, it's just not me. Wow, wow, that shit was deep. Wow, wow, wow. The, like the old videos of, you know, Tate. Like the old videos of Tate, the Tate brothers. Like even Tristan Tate. Like there's some old videos. Like you can see these guys are just about it, bro. Like they have it in them. Like they've always been like this. And this is amazing. Like this is truly amazing. It gives me, you know, that Conor McGregor vibe. You know, when Conor McGregor, when he was like, I think it was, um, how was he, like 24, 23? I don't know how old he was exactly when he did that interview, but that really old interview he had, um, and I have it on my old channel, um, where like he was talking about himself becoming the double champion, and he was talking about becoming so rich that um, he could give uh, any car to his wife, um, so she could drive any car, and any day of the week so she had like a new car for every new day of the week um, and like like I mean there's some people that just have that mentality bro it is and he's right like 
you're just born with it i feel like he's right you're born with it but i also feel like yes you might be born with it but i think you also can be raised that way like your parents can raise you to become like this and i feel like he has been raised to become like this um he's talked about his father a lot and i feel like his father is probably the one that influenced him the most to become who he is right now um because he's talked about you know his father not accepting him becoming a, uh, a loser and not accepting him uh, becoming uh, coming at second place at chess tournaments and st stuff like that and i feel like that has built his character and that has built who he is and now he is how he is because of that and salute to the father salute to the family uh, i really respect people like this a lot um because they are different than the average joe you know what i mean and i respect that because you have to be a different type of person to you know become like this you know what i mean and it, <laughs> if you're gonna train to become like this you gotta train for a good while bro you can't train this for for a year and just become like this it takes so much time it takes so much practice and discipline it's crazy and i respect this I respect this a lot this is this video this video was short but wow it was amazing it was amazing like just getting a tad bit of insight of how he was before wow inspirational especially when like it moves from him talking about like i can't stop fighting and if i do i have to like constantly entertain myself constantly like he has to become like really filthy rich uh, otherwise he can't stop because uh, everything is boring and he can't find entertainment and entertainment requires money and now he has that money and like he can do everything he wants every day wow like wow and um, this guy is really inspirational like a lot of other people that are really inspirational uh, the things they've gone through in their lives you have so many things to take from it and you know uh put it in perspective and uh, learn from it you know what i mean uh as he said before motivation is uh, pure gibberish you have to train your discipline and i feel like yeah discipline is the easiest place to learn discipline is uh, fighting combat sports I really like when I trained that for three months, three, four months, uh, I was laser focused. I went every five days um, I went like four or five days every week. I didn't fucking care about the gym. I just went there and I gave it my all every single time uh, for three months. That was constant. But yeah, then it comes to that point where I lost my motivation and I lost it because um, I was gaining like motivation through Conor McGregor. I was that was the guy that made me want to start fighting. That was the guy that made me want to train boxing. Um, and that was when he won against Jose Aldo. Uh, and yeah, I got so much inspiration from that. I was like, bro, I want to fight like this guy. I want to be like him. And he is not lying when he says that the, the the time when the day when you go into that ring and you get fucking hit in the face. And then you realize, bro, you're not that badass. You're not that badass and it requires much more work than this. You thought you had it, but you don't. And it really is like that, bro. So many people around the world think they can fight, think they can they can be violent, but you can't, bro. You think you can, but you, when somebody is much more ready than you, comes into the comes into the room and starts, you know, fighting you, it's over. So He's not lying, bro. You have to, you have to get in there. I feel like combat sports is the best way to uh, learn, teach your kids to learn discipline. And yeah, he, he's definitely done it. He's definitely done it, and his discipline is what has carried him on in life, um, got him where he is now. So respect to that, respect. With that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. I know I went on a tad bit of rant, but if you come all the way to the end, respect to you, appreciate it, much love. 
And if you enjoyed the re uh, reaction video, hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you think about Andrew Tate, what you think about his brother, what you think about his success, um, if you deem it as success. Um, I deem it as success and I feel like he's successful and he's done his part in life and he's keeping he's keeping on going you know he keeps on going and uh, but yeah subscribe if you want to see future videos like these and hit that bell notification so don't miss out on future videos like these and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces